Today, I'll be discussing about the parabola, how to graph the parabola, and how to find the equation of the parabola in standard form, given some conditions. Let's start with the different types of parabola. We have parabola whose vertex is at 0, 0 or origin. And we have parabola whose vertex is at some point or hk. First, let's start with the parabola whose vertex is at the origin or 0, 0. This is a parabola that opens upward and vertex at the origin. This is a parabola that opens downward and whose vertex is at 0, 0. Now let's see some other important details or parts of the parabola. Focus is a point C units away from the vertex. And the focus can be seen inside the parabola. Latus rectum is a line segment that is equal to 4C. It also has the focus at the center. The directrix is a line parallel to the latus rectum and opposite the parabola. Like the focus, this is C units away from the vertex. Finally, the axis of symmetry. This is the axis of symmetry. It is a line that divides the parabola into two equal parts, and it has the vertex and the focus on it. So the equation in standard form of these two parabolas look like this. Now, let's see the parabola that opens to the right and the parabola that opens to the left. The parts are the same. The vertex is at the origin. The focus is inside the parabola and is C units away from the vertex. The lattice rectum is equal to 4C. The directrix is parallel to the lattice rectum. And note that it is C units away from the vertex. Finally, the axis of symmetry. It is the line that has the vertex and focus, and it cuts the parabola into two equal parts. Now, the equation of the, these parabolas in standard form looks like this. Let's try some practice problems. Our task is to graph the parabola, determine the vertex, the focus, the length of the lattice rectum, the directrix, and the axis of symmetry. Our first problem. Remember that this is a parabola that opens upward, and we have to determine the following. The vertex, the focus, lattice rectum, directrix, and the axis of symmetry. Knowing that this parabola is in standard form, we know that the vertex is at 0, 0. To find the focus, we have to equate 4C and 4. C now is equal to 1. By definition, we know that the focus is C units away from the vertex. So our focus is some C units away from the vertex, and that is 1 unit away from the vertex. This point is 0, 1. Our next is to find the lattice rectum. Oh, focus is 0, 1. The lattice rectum is simply by definition equals 4C. If C is 1, 4C equals 4. 
that is 4 units. This parabola opens upward. So, our parabola looks like this. The length of the lattice rectum, again, is equal to 4. And the directrix is simply the opposite of the lattice rectum and also C unit away from the vertex. What is the equation of our directrix? It is correct. Y equals 1. And finally, to find the axis of symmetry, it is simply the line that cuts the parabola into two. So this is our axis of symmetry. And what is that axis? That is a y axis. Let's try another example. We know that this parabola opens downward. So we have to find the following. Knowing that this parabola is in standard form, we know that the vertex is already at the origin. To find the focus, we have to equate these two terms, this one and this one. So that is, again by definition, focus is some c units away from the vertex. c equals 2. Therefore, our focus is equal to the length of the lattice rectum is 4c. If c equals 2, 4c is correct, 8. That is the length of the lattice rectum. Next is the directrix. The directrix is also c units away from the vertex and the c is equal to 2. And the equation of this line is equal to, finally, the axis of symmetry. This is simply our axis of symmetry because it, it, it is the line that cuts our parabola into two equal parts. So what is this? Y-axis. This time, let's try a parabola that opens to the right or to the left. This one opens to the right. Let's now graph the parabola and determine the following. Knowing that this parabola is in standard form, our vertex is automatically at 0, 0. To find the focus, we have to equate this one and this one. Therefore, C is 1. And focus, by definition, is simply C unit away from the vertex. The lattice rectum is equal to 4c, and our c is equal to 1 times 4 is 4. Our directrix is parallel to the lattice rectum and is also c unit away from the vertex. Therefore, the equation of this line is equal to axis of symmetry is simply the line that cuts the parabola, and therefore this axis is equal to Let's try example number four. This is a parabola that opens to the left. So we have to graph the parabola and determine the following. Knowing that this parabola is in the form, the vertex is at zero, zero. To find the focus, it is C units away from the vertex. So we have to equate this one. Our focus is equal to negative 2 and 0. Lattice rectum is 4c. If c is, the two, is equal to 2, 4c is 8. The directrix is opposite the lattice rectum and is c units away from the vertex. The equation of the directrix is equal to, finally, the axis of symmetry is this one. And that is equal to this time let's talk about the parabola whose vertex is at some point or vertex at each k
parabolas whose vertices is at hk. Open sa part whose standard form of equation is parabola that opens downward whose general equation or standard form of the equation is parabola that opens to the right, the equation is and the parabola that opens to the left, the equation is just check the equation. The difference is just the sign. Upward and downward. Negative, positive for upward, negative for downward. To the right, it's positive 4C. To the left, it's negative 4C. Let's try our first example. Remember that this is a parabola that opens upward. So we have to graph the par parabola and determine the vertex, the focus, the lap strength from directrix, and the axis of symmetry. Knowing that this parabola is in the form, we can determine that its vertex is at 1 and 2. To find the focus, we have to equate this one and this one. So focus is some c units away from the vertex, and that is one unit away from the vertex. Our focus is equivalent to 1, 3. The lattice rectum is simply 4C. If C is 1 times 4, that is 4. 4 units lattice rectum. The directrix is opposite the parabola and parallel to the lattice rectum, one unit away from the vertex. So this line is equivalent to y equals 1. Finally, the axis of symmetry is the line that cuts the parabola into two. So this is the axis of symmetry. x equals 1. Now our second example. This is a parabola that opens to the left. So we have to graph this one and find the following. Knowing that this parabola opens to the left, and this is in standard form, we already know that the vertex is at negative 1 and positive 2. To find the focus, we have to equate this two. Therefore, C is equal to 2. The lattice rectum is equal to 4C. If C equals 2, lattice rectum is 8. Again, what is the focus here? It is 1, 2, 3, negative 3, and 1, 2, 3, sorry, 1, 2, positive negative 3, positive 2. For the directrix, it's simply 2 units away from the vertex. So the equation of your directrix is x equals 1. For the axis of symmetry, this is the axis of symmetry. Can you tell me what's the equation of the line? y equals 2. What about if we're given this kind of problem? We're tasked to sketch it, find the focus, the vertex, the lattice rectum, directrix, and AOS. But our problem, our parabola, is given in general form. So the first thing to do is to convert this into standard form. So you have to need some basic knowledge of your algebra about completing the square. This is the standard form, or the equation in standard form, of our parabola. We can now determine the vertex, the focus, the rectum, and so on. And then we graph the, the parabola. So this one is a parabola that opens upward. And in the form, our vertex is obviously 3 and negative 1. 
3, negative 1. Focus. Let's equate these two. So C is equal to 1. Our lattice rectum is 4 times C equals 4. The directrix is 1 unit away from the vertex. And the equation of your directrix is equal to y equals negative 2. The axis of symmetry is this line that cuts the parabola. That is your axis of symmetry. And that is equal to x equals 3.